Okay, welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary, Bloody Meow. And we just went through the Fort Beyond the Mire to the far beach, sent Coast Rock on her way and got the Frozen Tome from her. And I went ahead, like I said, and grabbed that last Cave Keeper ear, which if you remember, I got two in a row last time. Uh, then the next time, it took me about 10 full minutes. So I have a little bit more salt, but whatever. Uh, and I got the Split Swordsman's Ear that I didn't turn in either. So we will be fully devoted, as you can see here. And as you can see, we don't need mana, we don't need uh, Poison Buff, and even if it would be useful to have more Wraith Fang, I, I'm not gonna ever use that again. I That was ridiculously cheesy. Um, but like I said, a lot of these later bosses don't have, have really high poison resistance anyway. Okay. Just get more red grass. So like I said, I don't have to waste leveling on, on, on that. Because like I said, those Pulses, pouches, or whatever, those give you another permanent one. But this is the same thing. So, uh, alright, that is... We are fully devoted. And something to note is that if you look in the green text, the flavor text, it is a all lore. And a lot of them are stories. If it's like, you know, all the class 1 assassin, class 2 assassin are continuing of the same story. And that's a lot of detail to consider. And there is a lot of fleshy lore for people to appreciate. I'm not going to cover that. Uh, this is not like an in-depth Salt and Sanctuary lore slash playthrough. It's just a let's play. And you know how I do let's plays. I don't completionist. I just do what I deem is what I want to, to be able to beat the game. So that's how I do those let's plays. So they don't linger. So they don't linger, you know. Okay, the next area. I'm not positive if this is the right direction to start, but I think you can enter in any direction, so. You know what, oh, can't even go that way, so we won't. <laughs> I'll save the actual intro of the area for the proper entrance, which I believe would be then this direction. Yeah, this, this part, this is probably one of the most confusing areas of the game because it is very, there is like four entry points and there are, I think, two or three areas that it connects to it's pretty crazy but it's a cool really cool place and it's a tough place i think this is the if the first difficulty spike was castle of storms this is the next one um which is yeah i think this is the proper entrance yes i think mm. yeah i think this is right we needed the Oh, 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 this guy. So these guys uh, are like Tawnberries, in a sense, from Final Fantasy. They will, they can one-shot you if they grab you. So you don't want them to do that. <laughs> They're, it's pretty scary. I learned that the hard way. So I don't know if this is going to lead to where we want to go, but let's just try it. Maybe I'll just kind of peek in and tell if where I'm going is the right way. This is it. The Ziggurat of Dust. Oh, this is perfect. Great where a shrine is, too. Yeah, the Ziggurat of Dust. Here we go. Stone Root, Devotion 7. Bring to life. Alright. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, this is the place I want to enter. This is the Ziggurat of Dust. It's a really cool place. Different area, different section, different feel to it and it does seem dusty and I like that so let's fight this crazy creep and these guys are weird they like to just charge hey oh man he's 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 pretty buffy wow he's pretty strong and as you see you need not only see I like that you needed redshift to enter this place but you don't need redshift I don't think to enter this place proper or to enter this place in other sections. I think you can go here in other places. Or maybe this is it really is the only entrance. I don't know. But as you can see, you need both torch things. So, And we also going to have to try to pretty much play Mimic Check on every single chest there is. Because once they introduce the Mimic, they go a little too crazy with it, in my opinion. So I can't... Okay. Um, I think what we need to do immediately is find the boss. Because that... Hold an extremely, extremely awesome ability that we're going to have. Yeah. Yeah, this is the correct direction, I believe. So let's continue on. 
Hey, guy. So yeah, these guys like to run away a lot for some reason. The Arox ear, which is <laughs> the easiest pickup. I swear, every time you kill one of those guys, they drop their ear. I don't know what that's about. Oh yeah, of course. And once again, we're going to need the um, Impen Crest Ring because fire, fire everywhere. He's down there. I can't. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, he. There, there is plenty of fire. This is a fire-oriented spot. If, if I'm gonna say things right, and I like how this switch just kind of does that. At first, you might be like, "What was that about?" It just partially closed this down, but it gives you a wall jump ability or a wall jump spot to to go ahead and, and go through it. Okay, and. This is another cool little spot. Like I said, it just is just right enough to be able to wall jump. And upside down wall jumps are always appreciated. <laughs> I love that. Inverted things, things that are are not to player expectation is is usually the best way, I think. Now what sucks is, yeah, that guy is positioned in a way that if you don't have range, he can snipe you when you can't do anything about him. Kind of kind of scary, actually. Okay, before we go down there, I think we want to... Um, forget that spot right there. I think we want to head... Yeah. Gonna open this place up, and now we've got the shortcut enabled. Yep. No thanks. But first, just some items here. Like I said, I, the thing is that it's just that's so hard. I can never remember where items are which, and that's something with like Dark Souls too. Even if I play that game like four times through or something, some of the items that are like tempting that are dangerous to get, I can never remember what they are, and I always try. I just go for them every time, every playthrough. Even if I'll never need to use them. That's always how it works. So this is probably the same case for these things. I don't know if these items are actually useful. I don't know what would be useful at this point. I guess just. Ingredients, or like I said, stone guide. That's good. Stone objects are good too. Stone charm. Oh, stone charm. That's actually really good. I think I'm gonna replace the blood flower charm because the stone charm increases stagger damage. And if you might have guessed, a dagger has minuscule or non-existent stagger poise damage. So having this charm that gives it to us with this really fast move is going to help enemies stagger more, which means I can get some more hits in, which is all around just really great. So I don't know if we can... I don't know how hard this boss is going to be, but he's up there. I love how you can see the boss. Like, you can see him. That's... it's cool. Pretty good success rate. It's about half, I think. So... Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Use this, it should heal us up close to uh, free. I know this guy doesn't like Holy, because he's really evil. And I think he's really resistant to Slash. So we're probably gonna have to just shoot the gun. But something I did not mention is that if whatever you, when you buff your dagger, it also buffs your offhand. So I get Holy shot, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and I wish, I think I'm gonna put that stone ring on actually. Or I know I had the stone. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, well, let's fight this boss, and it's going to be a really, really good ability if we're able to pull it off. I think I'm going to top myself off just in case. Might be a bad decision, might not be. Here we go.
Although not that difficult, I really like that boss. I think he's a fun one. Fun, fun moves, and he does have an ability that flame that goes under by the ground to so he gets you away from him. So he's a cool boss, but not too challenging. But what's great is that we get a really, really awesome grip move here. Really great. We did kill the king. Yeah, I think I can see that there is some demon that collects somewhere underneath. Look at that. This island is a graveyard of civilizations. Pretty much a good explanation of, of what this of what this game, uh, like the world is here. So find the ruined temple and we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. And we get the dark brand. And before I show you what it is, uh, well, I guess not. I'm gonna say I'd say most most games would immediately show you what you could do with that with that brand, but it did not do that here. However, I guess I'll show you it in a second. I'll bypass this. Oh hey! Oh, I never did this. And before achievement pops on the bottom right. Oh, I got all this cool stuff. Oh, I guess there's not an achievement. Hey, I never got all that stuff. I never saw him before. I think he goes away if you don't, if you, yeah, again. Oh, it's really, well, I don't know. It probably weighs way too much, yeah. Let's see, what that, what's that look like? A little fashion, fashion time here. Too whimsical. <laughs> so. Oh, look, a fast roll with that. It's too whimsical. That makes any sense. I like this raptor stuff. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Still want the Imp and Crest ring because it's still going to be dangerous. Alright. So, what does the Dark Brand do? This. Yeah, not that. It does this. Mid air dash, and not only one, two. Really cool. And there are some places we can go now that we have that ability. And, um, well, it's just really neat. There are some places that we can go, and I'm not positive if we need to go to too many places, but there is one really core section we definitely want to make sure we get to. However, uh, I don't know what the proper order would be in terms of difficulty. Hmm. I think we might do that, because this ziggurat place is hell. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to level up a little bit and get some, a little bit of a bonus. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I got plenty of gold. I think it's time to, again, shell out and buy some stuff. So we'll go to the, uh, time to think here. Yeah, we'll just go to the, to the spot I'm talking about. So I'll see you there. But first, hey, look at that. We've got a Lord's Orders, I guess, from, uh, one of the split mans, I think. So we can actually upgrade our flintlock. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because if I recall correctly, the upgrade path for our final pistol is annoying. So it's good to get as high as we can first. So now we need two Lord's Orders, which we could get from, again, um, split, man, uh, split mans. Okay, so here we are at the outside entrance of Doma Forgotten. And if you recall, or don't recall, I'll, I'll remind you now. I said, remember this right here. And now that we have hard light, we can reach this. But could we get any further? We could not. But with the dart, we can. If I remember how to use the dart move. Jeez. Okay. Let's try that again. I don't know why I'm not used to doing that. Okay, here we go. This seems odd to do it that way. See, so you need... So you need 
a lot of skills to be able to do this. As you can see, this is pretty cool. I'm like, what is this place? And I really, this is one of my favorite spots in the game. And uh, check this out. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that is cool. It's kind of like at first I see my life flash before my eyes there, and then it, it knows what it's doing. So we're like on this, it looks like an upside down tree or the roots of a tree, and we're really unnaturally high up, and we're going even further up. What is this? It is Mal's Floating Castle, and a completely 100% unessential area. Very cool. It's a little bonus area with some cool things, some cool trinkets, and do not drop down. I'm about to say, I'm surprised that it actually says something nice. And a fun little boss. And this boss actually is pretty difficult. I don't know. I wanted some challenge here, though. I want to be able to, you know, get by with the skin of my teeth. That's important here. So we definitely want a guide in here. We got four guides. We had no guide. Like, where did that come from? Cool. A stone leader wouldn't be a bad idea. This is the best place to grind. One of the best places to grind in the game. I'm going to throw a stone leader down. And for magic resistance, I think that increases holy resistance. So we're going to put a stone alchemist here, too. Um... Yeah, I think we're gonna stop at that. So, yeah, and I think that, right? Yeah, my holy defense is 20, my holy defense is shit. <laughs> and that's what I actually need here. Wow, it's terrible. We don't need the imp and crest ring for once. We'll put back on the mossy ring. And continue on our way to explore Mal's floating castle. But that will be next time, guys. I'll see you then.